what is the next? You know, God's vision is cover all the nations, all the peoples, all the tribe, all the languages. How cover? By preaching gospel everyone, everywhere. And go to the place, go to the nation, go to the people group, go to the tribe, go to languages without worker, without church. And they have no chance to hear the gospel. We go to those places. We call them unreached people group. We call them unengaged, unreached people group. Because there's no witness among them. And that we call under-engaged, unreached people groups. Still we need to have plant more churches. Still need to produce more workers. Whatever we call them, they are lost without Jesus Christ, without hearing the gospel of Christ. First thing is, we must go to them and preach the gospel to everyone, everywhere. Second thing, as Jesus commanded, we must go to those places, people groups, and the languages without workers, go make a disciples and, and teach them and train them to obey Jesus Christ and follow Jesus Christ. Third thing is, we must gather those believers and disciples, two or three, in the house, we call it house church. And we gather them together, working place, we call it marketplace church. And that we can gather them in the police station, we can gather them in the military compound, we can gather them in our schools, we can gather them in a factory and shops. Wherever two or three people, believers gather together, and Jesus said he will be with them. And two or people, three together, we can start a small church, how church, disciple church everywhere. And then, thirdly, is to cover the, all the nations, all the peoples, all the tribe, all the languages, we must produce, grow, and multiply workers. Those who coverage coordinators know how to cover a village, how to cover a town, how to cover a city, how to cover a nation, how to cover a people group, how to cover a tribe, how to cover languages. We must train and produce those coverage coordinators in all the nations of the world. And the, our goal is immediately we want to cover the 5,000 under-engaged people groups. Those people groups with the less than 0.1% population know about Jesus Christ and believing about Jesus Christ. So we must grow and multiply these believers and churches and workers among them. In order to do it, we must mobilize the whole body of Christ. The whole body of Christ means we must mobilize all the believers in all the nations. We must mobilize all the churches in all the nations. And we must mobilize all the missionaries in the world. And we must mobilize all the mission organizations and agents and the resource organizations so that we can have a holistic and uh, we can have it, you know, a total mobilization of body of Christ. We can have the resource enough to cover the whole world and all the unengaged people groups. What the you know, local church will do, church will, local church will provide the resources and prayers and the man short-term and long-term uh, missionaries and manpowers. What the uh, you know, missionaries do, the missionary provide the, the necessary information and provide the workers and provide the information and they lead the people, lead the churches and to those unreached people groups and then guide and supervise and the work among uh, these people groups. And the you know, mission organizations, ministry organizations, they provide the resource and they provide trainings and the tools for evangelism, tools for the disciples and materials, and the including funding. 
And the, what the national church, indigenous church do, they provide the value information, how to engage, how to reach out to those unreached people groups. National church provide the workers among his believers, you know, among their workers, and they'll join. And also the local church, the national church, they provide the necessary contact person, contact points among these unreached people groups. When we bring this, the whole, the body of Christ together, we can make the breakthrough. Our goal for the next 10 years until 2030, our strategic plan is to cover all those 5,000 under-engaged, unreached people groups and over 200 some unengaged, unreached people groups. First, we have to mobilize partners. We have to mobilize local churches. We want to mobilize immediately 500 the local church partners from Korea, from the US, from all over the world. Already, you know, Chinese Americans and they're participating the the unreached people group missions of the world. And there are so many churches in the States, they're involved in, and also in Korea and Japan and all over the world. Local churches involved. We need to mobilize more churches as a partners to target these 5,000 groups. And also we need to mobilize the missionaries. Initially, we want to mobilize at least 300 missionaries among the Americans, among the Koreans, among the Chinese, among the Latin Americans, those are missionary sending countries, we want to mobilize the missionaries to cover the world. And then we want to mobilize the national churches. Immediately, 2020, this year, we want to mobilize 500 national churches who join to reaching out 5,000 unreached people groups in the world. At the end, you know, we want to mobilize at least 1,000 churches. And then we want to mobilize resource and mission organizations around the world. At least we start from the 50 organization. It's like a Jesus film, like a gospel recording, like a weekly Bible translation, and then also gospel stories. And our goal uh, for the next 10 years until 2030, we want to cover 5,000 UUPGs, and then we want to cover in 90 countries of the world, and we want to cover 1.9 billion people. What is your plan for the next 10 years? Our objective is producing church planting workers among those 5,000 people groups in 90 countries of the world. Think about two by two as Jesus sent his workers. And that we want to produce two workers per people group. That means this year, until next year, we want to produce 500 coverage coordinator church planting workers. And next 10 years, we want to produce 10,000 church planting workers and coverage coordinators. What is your plan for producing workers for the next 10 years? And that we want to reach out everyone, everywhere. But we have a limit of the workers, limit of resources. So next 10 years, we want to reach out 2% of the 5,000 people groups, 1.9 billion people. We want to reach out 38 million people people, which is the 2% of the 5,000 UUPG people group population, 1.9 billion people around the world. We want to give the gift of Jesus Christ to the 38 million families in 90 countries of the world among 5,000 people group. At least they have, they deserve, they have a right to hear the gospel of Christ they deserve to hear the gospel at least once in their lifetime. Let's give Jesus as a gift to this 
1.9 billion people, and minimum 2% of population, the families, they have a chance to hear the gospel in the next 10 years. What is your plan for evangelism for the next 10 years? Let's build the churches. We want to build the church or plant churches, one church per 10,000 population. That means 1.9 billion people. For them, we want to plant 190,000 churches in 90 countries world among 5,000 people group. We'll start from the 500 churches this year because we want to mobilize 500 national churches and, and local church partners together with the missionaries together. And we can start 500 house churches easily. And then next 10 years, 190,000 family churches. Those people meet together in a house, house churches. We gather them everywhere, anywhere, to worship God and witness to their own community. What is your plan for producing churches and planting churches for the next 10 years? And also, our objective is producing the UEPG coverage coordinators everywhere. We want to produce national coverage coordinator who will take responsibility of covering their own people groups, unreached people groups in their countries, and take responsibility of reaching out all villages and town and city. At the end, to cover the whole country, evangelize whole country with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to start it. And this year and the end of, until the end of next year, 2021, we want to produce at least 30 coverage coordinators. And then until 2025, we want to produce 60 coverage coordinators in 60 countries. And we want to produce 90 national coverage coordinators in 90 countries by 2030s. We will produce 100 under the, the workers and we will produce minimum 10,000 and coverage workers in those 90 countries of the world. But also we will produce this coverage leader so who will take responsibility and evangelize their own people group, their own country, their own tribe, own languages with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We need to grow and multiply so that every country, every people, every tribe of languages will have their own coverage coordinator. They can cover their own nations, people, tribe, language without outside help. What is your plan for the next 10 years producing the workers? We want to produce and we want to provide the coverage coordinated training in all the country of the world. And until 23, we want to produce and we want to establish and we want to start this coverage coordinated training center, coverage training center in 30 countries. And then by 2030, we want to produce, we want to start establish this coverage training center, produce coverage coordinators, produce coverage workers in 90 countries of the world. GAP for FTT will provide the resource and trainings and assist the, the fund to produce the more workers and more coverage coordinators. What is your plan for coverage trainings in your own countries? We gathered, we collected greatest and the best the teachings and trainings available in the world right now to reach the unreached people groups. Great many you know, men and women of God, they contribute to the, this conference. We want to utilize and also we want to provide 
this is special gift from God and from the body of Christ, share those gifts, share those teachings and trainings, materials and videotapes with the body of Jesus Christ. So that we will collect them all together, all the videos, all the you know, video recording messages, teaching and trainings, and we put them together as a curriculum, as a programs we want to provide it as an unreached people group mission school. Anywhere in the world, we'll help them out to translate it and dub it in their own languages so that the whole world, all the body of Christ, will have the best teachings and the best trainings available in this world, they can receive it in their own languages. What is your plan for gathering, mobilizing your national churches next year? We want to help assist the UEPG coverage mission partners meeting. There will be you know, many, many meetings, citywide meeting will be there, and also nationwide meeting, national coverage pastors meetings. Those national churches who involve coverage call, coverages and cover those unreached people in their nations, we encourage them to get together once a year and provide the report and also evaluate together, evaluate the progress and then make the plan for the next year. What is your plan to attend the global coverage coordinator conference? We will have the coverage coordinator meeting, regional meeting and continent meeting. This continents we gather the coverage coordinator from many nations together. So national coverage coordinator get together, assess and evaluate the progress and then again, and make the plan for the next two years, three years. And then also, to encourage the, all those national and regional and the, and the coverage coordinators get together. And it's every five year, 2025, 2030s, we will have a global coverage coordinator conference, global coverage passes conference, global assembly, of pastors gathering anywhere in the world. What is your plan to attend the regional coverage coordinator conference? This partnership gathering among these churches coverage coordinators will enhance the gospel of Jesus Christ and spread gospel beyond where we are by assessing, by evaluating the progress and then making the strategic coverage plan for the next year, next two years, next five years, next 10 years. Intentionally, we will assist, we'll help them out. Regional coverage coordinator meeting and the global coverage coordinator meeting, national coverage coordinator meetings. In that meetings, we'll invite the past local church pastors, partnership churches, and the national churches, and coverage coordinators, and missionaries, and mission organizations. All come together, evaluate the progress, and make a strategic coverage plan. And then, again, you know, form the partnership, and to bring all our strengths together to make the breakthrough where still there is an empty place, still there is place, there is no breakthrough. We'll pray together, we'll mobilize all our resources, and also brainstorming all the best practitioners of the world get together, target those unreached people groups, unreached tribes, unreached languages, unreached nations, then we will see rapidly this whole nations of the world will be covered with the glory of God, with the knowledge of the glory of God. We will keep this global assembly of pastors for finished task office until 2030. 
Reason is we want to assist and we want to pray for them and we want to help and support national coverage initiative. Those country without pastors, without missionaries, without churches, they need the help from outside. It's not fair that the, those people groups with less than 0.1% population Christian ask them to do everything. It's not fair. It's their responsibility to, to cover their own people group. Those who don't have a church, those who don't have workers, don't have pastors, don't have a missionary, don't have Bible among them. They need help. As Paul asked his churches in Thessalonica, churches in Corinth, and churches in Macedonia, churches everywhere to help. The church is in, in Jerusalem. It's about the, the work of the whole body of Christ. So, Gap for FTT office will encourage all the national churches involving these unreached people groups, covering these underengaged unreached people groups, or covering unengaged unreached people groups. At the same time, any country, any nations need the assistance, need help, then we're willing to join them by providing prayers and resources and the funding and sending workers. Join them in the greatest God's harvest field. So then there'll be no one left without hearing the gospel. There's no people group without workers. There'll be no place without workers, without churches in this world because God already gave us enough number of churches, enough number of missionaries, enough uh, number of the churches around the world, we can cover them all sufficiently, abundantly, if work together to focus on, set our priority on those lost people groups, unreached people groups together. So we encourage all the national churches reaching out their own people group at the same time, reaching beyond your own country. Think about India. You know, uh, India has more than 60 countries of the world, has more than 10,000 population, Indian community. So Indian churches can reach out those 60 countries with their own people groups, own their nationals. And then they can help and train those nationals reaching out other unreached people groups in their countries where the Indian community is. So Indian churches already reaching out Sindhi group in Malaysia, reaching out already Bhojpuris in Myanmar, reaching out the Gujaratis and Bengalis, so many other groups in Dubai, UAE. Same way, Korean, the Chinese, and the Americans all of together, Latin Americans and all those, you know, the Middle East peoples, Europeans, all join together and uh, target those under engaged, unreached people groups, target those unengaged, unreached people groups. Then someday there'll be no more unengaged, unreached. There'll be no more unengaged, unreached. There'll be no more lost people groups without gospel, without worker, without church, and the without missionary. Everyone will have a chance to hear the gospel. And then there will be a disciple, worker, and coordinator among them. This is our vision. And especially raise the next generation. We want to give a chance, young leaders, younger generations, young pastors, lead and charge this task as Jesus led, he was a 33 years old. He was 30 years old, yet Jesus took his nation. He mobilized his disciples, covered a nation. Then in our generation, there are 30 some, 30 above. They can reach their own country. They can reach the world. 
This is our prayer. The next generation will take up this task and finish it. Finish task. What is your plan for the next 10 years? We will join. We'll pray with you. We'll help you. Our contact address, numbers, and it is there. So send us your prayer request. And send us your critical need. We'll pray together. We'll work together. So that your people group, your nation, and your tribe, your languages, will be covered with the glory of God, with the knowledge of God, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you'll be no more lost. Thank you so much.